Well, good morning, church, and good morning to all the boys and girls that are joining us online. Uh, last week, I began a story about a boy named Frank and a girl named Brittany, and they were in a class with a terrible teacher named Miss Poosmith. But fortunately, the great principal, Joshua, came and rescued the kids and said, I will be your only teacher from now on. The kids were all excited, and we're going to continue their story today by looking at the second commandment. The second commandment, as Pastor Chuck said, is do not have any graven images or don't worship any images. All right, so after Mr. Joshua rescued the class from Ms. Poosmith, all the kids ran with Mr. Joshua back to the classroom, and they were so excited. But when Mr. Joshua got to the classroom, he looked around and he saw all these pictures of Ms. Poosmith everywhere. Boys and girls, what are these pictures doing up in the classroom? The boys and girls explained to Mr. Joshua that those pictures were reminders. When Ms. Poosmith went out of the classroom and the boys and girls didn't know what to do, they would look up and see the picture of Ms. Poosmith, get really scared, and start studying hard again. Mr. Joshua said that was ridiculous. So he told all the kids, all right, our first assignment, pull all these stupid pictures down and put them in the rubbish bin. The kids loved the assignment, the first time kids liked cleaning the classroom, and they couldn't wait to come back to school the next day because Mr. Joshua said he was going to have a surprise for them. Well, all the kids could barely sleep that night. They woke up extremely early, and they got to class really early. They got there 15 minutes before they needed to be there. But Mr. Joshua was already there, and he had brought his surprise with him. On one side of the classroom, Mr. Joshua had a fish tank with like 20 fish in the fish tank. And in the back of the classroom, Mr. Joshua had a hamster cage with 10 hamsters in it, and all the hamsters were really active. And then over on this side of the classroom, Mr. Joshua had a bird cage with like six birds in it. The kids were so excited. They got to play with the animals, they got to look at the animals, and then for art class, Mr. Joshua had all the kids draw a picture of their favorite animal, the fish, the hamsters, and the birds. Afterwards, they put the pictures up on the walls, and the kids loved it. They had never had an art class with Poo Smith before. The next day, the kids were even more excited to go back to class. They didn't know what other kind of surprises they were going to have. So they got to class 30 minutes before class started. But this time, Mr. Joshua wasn't in class. The kids were terrified. They had never been alone in a classroom before. What are we going to do? But then Frank had an idea. Aha, says Frank. Miss Poosmith would put up pictures of her to remind us what to do when she wasn't here. Maybe Mr. Joshua put these pictures up to remind us what we should do when he's not here. All the kids thought Frank was a genius. So all the kids ran to the pictures that they had drawn. The kids who drew pictures of fish, they decided the pictures of fish wanted the kids to become like fish. So all the kids started swimming around the desks and over the chairs. All the kids who drew pictures of hamsters decided they too should become hamsters. And they started running around the classroom like it was a giant hamster wheel. All the kids who drew pictures of birds decided they were gonna jump around on the desks and flap their wings like they were birds. Well, the class was a lot of fun for about nine seconds. And then a hamster stepped on the head of a fish. And a bird bonked into the head of a hamster, and everybody was angry. The fish all together started fighting the hamsters. The hamsters all together started fighting the birds. And the birds didn't know what to do, so they started fighting the fish. And it was all out war in the classroom. And at the peak of the excitement and chaos, Mr. Joshua walked into the classroom. All the boys and girls stopped their shenanigans and went to their seats in shame. Mr. Joshua looked at the boys and girls. What are you doing? The boys and girls tried to explain. Well, Mr. Joshua, we came here and you weren't here. We didn't know what to do. So we looked to the pictures on the wall to figure out what we should do. Isn't that why you had us put pictures up on the wall? Mr. Joshua said, boys and girls, that is ridiculous. I gave you these animals as a good gift. We had art class to do something fun together. I didn't put those up there so that you could obey them or so that you could worship them. Did you forget? I am your teacher. I'm the one who rescued you. 
If you don't know what to do, just come to my office and talk to me. So Mr. Joshua forgave the kids for all of their fighting and all of their rough play, and all the kids were once again so excited to be in class with Mr. Joshua. All right, so that is the end of our story for this week. We'll hear more from Brittany Frank and Mr. Joshua, but let's take a look and see what this story can tell us about the second commandment. So can we go, perfect, to the next slide. So like last week, Mr. Joshua reminds us of God. And Mr. Joshua gives very good gifts, right? He gives fish, he gives hamsters, he gives birds. In the same way, our God gives us very good gifts as well, right? He gives us things like friends, he gives us family, he gives us cool things like YouTube and video games. And he also gives us practical things like money and toys and cars, right? But sometimes, like the boys and girls in the class, they look to these good things for answers. They look to these good things and they love them more than they love their teacher. The same way, we, sometimes we look to the things God gives us and we love them more than we love God or more than we love our neighbors. So Mr. Joshua wants to protect the kids from their fighting, so he gives them a very good rule. He says to them, don't love or worship anything more than me or other people. In the same way, God gives us his second commandment. And he says, don't love any of my good gifts more than you love me. So that's the second commandment. In the same way, Mr. Joshua invites the kids to come and talk to him when they have questions. Our Heavenly Father invites us to come and talk to him directly, not through images. So that's what we're going to do next. We can say a prayer together that corresponds to the second commandment. So I'll pray this, and boys and girls, you can follow along with me uh, as I pray. Father, thank you for your great gifts. Help us to love you more than anything else, and help us to love other people too. In Jesus' name, amen.